everyone, the message you are about to watch is a message preached by Bishop Opu Deli Eze. This message is packed full. It's that it is anointed, it is fire-rised, it is loaded, and it has the capacity to put you on your throne of enthronement. I want to encourage you as you watch this message, watch it with faith in your heart, because God will impart some great measure of anointing in your life. Yokes will be broken, chains will be destroyed, walls will crumble as you watch this message. I want you to watch it with faith in your heart and trust God that every situation in your life will turn around for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy New Year. Now, number four, through the inward voice. Through the inward voice. How else can I know that God is leading me? Through the inward voice. Now, get this. The inward voice is what you might call inaudible inner voice get it the inward voice the inward voice is what you might call the inaudible inner voice it is inaudible at least to somebody as I but very audible to you get another one it is a voice sounding from inside you It is a voice sounding from inside. You hear the voice of your spirit. Acts chapter 10, verse 19. Mm. Acts chapter 10. Why Peter thought on the vision? Look up, please. Let's read together. Why Peter thought on the vision? What happened? The spirit said unto him, between now and tomorrow morning, may the spirit say something to you. Yeah. If your amen is the loudest, your spiritual faculties are activated. Yeah. This is the last day you will walk in ignorance. Yeah. This is the last day you will not know what God wants you to do. Yeah. You will function in the realm of accuracy and precision of the leadership of the spirit. Yeah. You throw your hands and say amen. Activation is taking place. Number five, through the audible voice of the Holy Spirit. Through the audible voice of the Holy Spirit. This is when you hear. Pastor Chile, please come. Stand here. My angel is breaking out. A, a, there is an ancestral church. I, I looked at you, saw that you traveled to Enugu, hold a man. And Lord said, this is an ancestral chain. He said, I've prayed about this, but today he wants to vomit and terminate that chain from the... Stand here. Tom, look at me. Father, whoever the son says free is free indeed. Amen. I decree by the abundance of God's grace that this ancestral chain that I'm looking at I command them to break. Amen. At the count of three, I release it. One, two, three. Hey! Lose it! In the name of Jesus Christ, put your hands together for the Lord. Take, run from that seat to that seat seven times. Run. Hey, look, that, that guy, yes, you. Come. I saw money coming. Glory. Run, sir. I saw money. I saw money. I saw signing of lines. Come. Lift up your hands. I hear the Lord say, no more delay. Amen. Lift up your hands. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Yes, I Stop smoking. Okay. I saw you smoking. It will cause damage to your heart. Okay? How many wives did you marry? I One. see a woman cursing you. What happened? How many wives do you marry? One. But who is this woman here? I saw somebody speaking things against you. Lift up your hands. How many children do you have? Three. Three. All of them from the same woman? No. Huh? No. Uh -huh. So t tell me how it happened. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Father, this young man Mm. Pastor Jude, come. Glory. come. Stand here. 
stop worrying. You just pass through a wilderness. God does not neglect process for progress. Amen. The reason why weather changes because it's bringing you to a new level. <laughs> Take it. Glory! Lift up your hands. Look at me. Costless cause shall not stand. The Lord said, I am restoring seven years. Amen. In one. Amen. Keep him. Come. Run, my dear. Every mark over your life is broken. Amen. You are an evangelist. God is going to use you. Amen. I saw you singing. I saw you praying. I saw you evangelizing. You've been told this before. Yes. God, eh? Yes. They told you before. Yes. If you are clapping, clap well. That fair lady, come. Start dancing from that place. Not you. The fair lady is looking at it. Yes. Come. Do like this as carrying baby. Oh, yeah. Dance. I want to say, Oh, me, oh, yeah, chukwe, me, oh, yeah. He ain't the band, oh, me, chukwe, me, oh, yeah. Oh, me, oh, yeah. Lift up your hands. The Holy Ghost, yes, is called in Jesus' name. Come. You need it? Do you need it? Lift up your hands. Look at me. Congratulations, is done in Jesus' name. Come, take it again. Look at my eyes. Are you ready? Power. The Holy Ghost is done. Put your hands together for the Lord. Joseph, please come. Go back. The Lord says, I will announce you as a pastor. Kneel down from your mother's womb, and God has planted you here. Hallelujah. Today, I adopt you as a son. Hey! Mm. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before you. Young girl, please come. Hold it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release grace over this honey. Amen. As people leak, cause is broken. Amen. Spell is lifted. Amen. Let there be a change. Amen. As you showed me in the vision, so shall it be in practicality. Amen. Anything that represents a physical cause is broken. Amen. Jesus. Anyone that has cancer, cancer dies. Amen. Anyone that is called barrenness, barrenness is. Amen. Anywhere they went, even if they went to India, and made a pronouncement over your life, I stand by the authority of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Take it. It's coming like an electric. One more time, it's coming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take it. It's all over you. Yeah, one, two. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release it for healing, preservation. There are two people that have heart issues here. They are already healed. Amen. Diabetes will be healed. Amen. Prostrate will be healed. Amen. I see fine blood dissolving. Amen. I see hard luck dissolving. Amen. The Lord said next level is activated. Amen. Honey, you are blessed. You are blessed. Go ahead. The people that have taken you are already blessed. Amen. I call <laughs> Will you want to forbid it? <laughs> You're already blessed. In Amen. Jesus name. You're blessed. I mean, it's not for the honey I called you. I am hearing I will show you help. You will not stop midway. Come. This academics. Did you hear what I said? If I lay hands on you, just one of Father, all you for completion. Come, come. I saw Canada flag covering you. Amen. If you are clapping, clap well. Glory. Come, look at me. Look at me. Come. <laughs> take it more, take it more, take it more, take it more. Let it come like an electric. It's done. Glory. How are you? So blessed. Remember when you came crying. Look at what the Lord has done. Has he blessed you? He has blessed me. 
so much. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Lift up your hands. Congratulations. That which God has done endure it forever. Amen. Father, as I saw one angel just dancing and was singing. Oh, Lord, is turning things around. it. Lord said, 27 of you that will stand up and dance it. That is how your life will look like. Mwa. I need oil for Seated. Go ahead and lick your honey. If, if you are enjoying God's presence here, wave your hand and shout glory. I make bold to declare your life will never be the same again. Praise God. All right, we are on number five through the audible voice of the Holy Spirit. This is when you hear God's voice. Write, lick your honey, and write. This is when you hear, this is when you hear God's, this is when you hear God's voice expressly. You hear God's voice expressly. Please, don't miss now, right? This is when you hear God's voice expressly. Without interruption from the soulish realm. 
This is when you hear God, spirit to spirit, without interruption from the soulless realm. Many a times in our spiritual dealings with God, the trappings of the soul filters in into communication. And once it filters in into communication, that communication is no longer perfect. So, audible voice is spirit to spirit communication. God speaking to you directly as somebody is by your side speaking into your heart. It's like a friend speaking to you closely. First Samuel chapter 3, 4 to 10, long read. You get home, you read it. But let me look at John 12, 27 and 29. John 12, 27 and 29. Glory to God. So much change. I don't see angels. I'm, I'm preaching angels are just walking. Some of them, they are conducting oppression. Some of them, they are changing their destiny. Some of them, they visited the altar where they nailed you. Some of the Asian python spirit is set on fire. Some of them miracles everywhere. So my own is to preach and they will do their work. I'm waiting. John 12. Now is my soul troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I into this hour. 28. 28. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and I will glorify it again. 29. 29. The people, therefore, that stood by and had it said that it thundered. Others say an angel did what? Spoke to him. That is an example of what? Audible voice. Okay, let's take one more scriptural example. Acts chapter 9, 4 to 7. I am hearing anointing for completion. I prophesy over that project, over that vision, over that career. I decree you will not stop midway. Yes. By the anointing of God in this atmosphere, you shall complete it. Yes. And you will return with a trophy of honor. Yes. I hear you saying, Amen. You are blessed. Yes. Thank you, Abba Father. Which of you there is Choma? Come. Run. Come, stand here. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Look at me. Your life gets better. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Father, look at these tears and change her life. Let this embargo of misrepresentation end. Amen. Today, I lean on the staff of my ordination. I declare, never again. Amen. Father, this one is an international businesswoman. Mm. I see gold all over you. Amen. You know, God took me into your family. I saw an Iroko tree full of birds. You are the hope of the family. Amen. You are handling everybody as if you are the physical mother. But I decree every cause ends. Amen. Every limitation is terminated. Amen. Enchantment breaks. Amen. Anyone that ever cost you, the cost is broken. Amen. Have you taken your own honey? It starts working. Mm. Restoration. Power! The Holy Ghost. Keep on the floor. Bring her, bring her, bring her. The yoke is broken. Come, bring her, bring her. You will never forget today. You have met men of God, but you, have, you know you met a man in another realm. Yes. Lift up your hands. I lay hands on you. Father, at the count of three, let it break. One, two, three. Holy Ghost. Keep it. Somebody put your hands together. Glory. Somebody clap. Somebody clap. I see one, two, three, four, five. Five keys of a powerful machine. Amen. Between now and August ending, the Lord is giving you a miracle gym. A miracle car. Amen. You didn't buy it. It came by favor. Amen. Your amen tumbles up. It is established. Amen. Someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Prof, come. Keep serving. 
Don't relocate to America. Keep serving. Don't. If you people leave Nigeria, which people correct this ill? Keep serving. Don't go. Did you hear what I said? Please. We need people like you in the system. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Stay. Stay. That's what God is saying. Stay. Don't run away. If you people run away from the system, who then, maybe you know what I'm saying, who then will fees the system? That's what God said I should tell you. Don't relocate to America. Lift up your hands. It's not the will of God. For now. Hey! It's done. Put your hands together for the Lord. Don't you please come. I see $10,000 on your hands. I said, let us renew contract. Let us renew contract. contract. You understand? Yes, Daddy. They actually said when I when I'm done with this one, we're going to renew the contract. And <laughs> it's what that same amount you're saying now. You said it's what that same ten thousand dollars. You said five thousand dollars before. Okay. And the the amount of uh, work we're going to do, the budget, it's what ten thousand dollars. It's what ten thousand dollars. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Glory. I, I don't I don't like the way. Can you clap and celebrate God? Hallelujah. Yemisi, please come. I want Abuja to open for your fashion business. I want to take you to Wusa area. I see a big store. And I saw people. God is giving you a clothing line. Amen. Special label. Amen. You know what I saw? People walk into the store, they look at the magazine, and they sew for them. Amen. And they began to sew, not only national. My son, please come. Stand here. Lift up your hands. I release a mantle of a pastor. <laughs> Take it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Clap your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Yeah, Missy, you are blessed. Amen. The land will not resist you. Amen. The land will not resist you. Amen. The land will not resist you. Amen. Father, you said as you speak expansion. Let her business catch fire. Amen. A new move. Amen. Of God's presence. Amen. An annoying thing. Hold it, hold it, baby. The man on red suit. The man on red suit. The man on red suit. Come. The Lord says he's restoring your lost glory. Amen. Amen. Talented, gifted, but grounded. I connect to collect, sir. I connect to collect, sir. Hear this. From today, Amen. your life has changed. Amen. I saw two kinds of oil. Hmm. I saw the evangelistic oil. Amen. I saw the oil of people that throw men into political thrones. I concur with you, sir. You are talking. It is done. Amen. Lie down. Oh, my God. Lift up your hands. Just wave your hands. Wave your hands. Begin to bless him. Jesus is everywhere. Can you open up your mouth and talk to Jesus? Can you? Yes. Sing it. Can you worship him? Worship him. Stop pressing your phone. Stop pressing your phone and, and just worship him. Time, sing it one more time. Oh, you are Everybody, wave your hand. Come on, worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship Jesus. Worship him. Worship him.
born. There are cries of adoration. His men from every nation lift your voice and make his presence known. We sing. the labor does not justify the hustle you are confused i even attempt to leave but i stand here to declare your change has come amen the next thing i'm praying for ah okay that's london that's canada that's america you are believing visas from this country come and shake my hands run you're expecting visa from london america and canada shake my hands go <laughs> It's done. It's done. And what you need to be praised, you are the lamb upon the throne. Put your hands, if I shake you for visa, put your hands on your head, succumb. How do you get to know about this church? Who, who told you about this church? You brought him. That thing he told you is real. And you have seen with your eyes, right? I've seen it, sir. It is done. Amen, sir. Lift up your hands. Change. <laughs> Amen. It's done. Amen. I sh shook your hands for visa. Put it, put it on your head. Close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the mercies of God that those visas are stamped not by merit, but by grace and favor. Amen. I want you to shout amen seven times. Amen. One, amen. two, amen. three, four. Five, six, seven. Somebody sit and clap your hands and make some noise. Glory. Shout, scream, celebrate God. Hallelujah. All right. So we are looking at ways through God. Don't lose me. You know, I'm a prophet and a teacher as well. So the mantles are finding expression. So whichever one that is speaking will follow. Somebody say, I hear you. So back to the teaching. Because we must, we must conclude it today. So I hear you. 
But what I'm sharing, are you blessed? Is it practical enough? Is this something you can walk away from this house and you begin to walk in them? So let me conclude. Two more and I pray. So for the perusal of those who are joining us, we're looking at a subject, understanding the ways through which God leads us. Number one, we said the, through the word of God. Check, cross, check your notes so that let's establish we're on the same page. Number one, through the word of God. Number two, through inner peace. Number three, through the inward witness. Number four, through the inward voice. I've been able to explain those things in clear details. Number five, through the audible voice of the Holy Spirit. And I said that the audible voice of the Holy Spirit is when you hear God's voice expressly without interruption from the soulish realm. It is like a friend speaking to you closely. Now number six, through your recreated human spirit. God speaks to you through your spirit. But your spirit cannot be a sound guide for direction if you are not born again. What makes your spirit to be trusted for eternal communication of sacrosanct instruction from Elohim is that you must be born again. John 1 verse 12 brings you into the realm of having the ability to depend on your recreated, remember my emphasis is on the recreated human spirit. Because the man not in Christ has a spirit, but the spirit is not recreated. Recreated because of the depravity of Adam and the fallen nature. When we say a man has the fallen nature of Satan, we are simply saying the man has the character, the life of the devil. So by redemption, man is redeemed. And your spirit is recreated and it comes into unison with the spirit of Christ. That is what we call baptized, baptizo. You are immersed with a new life that comes from God. Of course, the Holy Spirit is the life of the Father which is made accessible through the Son. So he that has this life has the Son and has the Father. So we receive a new life and that life is imparted into our spirit and depending and based on that flow, your spirit now can be qualified as a instrument to receive divine communication. You don't have two spirits in you. You have one spirit. Paul said, for he that is joined to one spirit has become one with the spirit. Meaning, at, at, at salvation, God unites your spirit with his spirit and you become one in an inseparable marriage till eternity. Can I say hallelujah? Are you understanding me at all? I put, a, I, put a, I put a clause to this issue because don't say God speak to your spirit. Your spirit, if you must, because if it is not regretted, Satan can speak there and you can think it is God. So the only, remember he said, I have given you the Holy Spirit as a seal of your redemption. So because your spirit is joined with God's spirit, you can depend on your spirit for guidance. Have you tell somebody, never argue your spirit. Especially if you are born again. Shout it again, say, never argue your spirit. Can I have a shout, amen? Do I have scriptural proofs? Yes. Proverbs 20, verse 27. Oh, I love you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I love you, Lord. Just wave your hand and say, love you, Lord. Wave your hand and say, I love you, Jesus. Say, Jesus, Lord, I give you my heart. I give, give you my, my soul. soul. I, I give for you alone every step that I take. Can it be your prayer? of your life in everything I do Lord have your way in me. Can you shout amen to that? Yeah. Proverbs 20 verse 27 quickly through your recreated human spirit glory to Lord 
<laughs> the river is flowing. Jesus is revealed and glorified. The spirit of man is the, somebody said, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching all the inward parts of the belly. What that, you know, King James translation, what that scripture means that God will lead a man through what? His own spirit. Is that okay? One more scripture. Job 32 verse 8. Crowns everywhere. Thrones. But there is a spirit in man again. And the inspiration of the almighty given the word understanding. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Mm. Ah, God give me speed. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. So that scripture is saying, you can only know the things of your spirit, or even perceive the things of the spirit, when your spirit is what? In tandem with the flow. Number seven, through visions and revelation. God leads us through vision. Look at me, if you get all these things, I have blessed you. Forever, you can never miss God's will. Joel chapter 2, 28 and 29. Joel 2, 28 and 29. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughter shall prophesy. Some say prophesy. Who and who shall prophesy? Speak out to now. Who and who shall prophesy? Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see. Some of my eyes see visions. Now, let's look at types of vision. Number one, we have dreams. Dreams. We all know what dream is. These are visionary experiences during sleep. Dreams are visionary experiences during sleep. Are you sleeping under this high tension unction? Right. Dreams are visionary. Right, right, right. Dreams are visionary experiences during sleep. Matthew 1, 20. Matthew 2, verse 12. Number two, trans. Trans. This is the situation of being half asleep and half awake. Trans. This is the situation of being half asleep and you are half awake. At times, the physical senses are suspended. You don't know if you are sleeping or you are awake, but you saw something. Somebody said trance. How many of us are familiar with the word trance? You've had it before. Lift up your hands. Yes, it's a biblical uh, way of discerning God's unction and God's leadership. Praise the Lord. We had a lot of people that had trans numbers. Okay, let me read numbers 24, 16. Then write Acts 10, 10 because of time. Numbers 24, 16. Acts 10, 10. But let me read numbers 24. He has said, which had the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High. We saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance by having his eyes open. Did he hear that? So, many other, it is half awake, half asleep. A, a half asleep. At other times, it can happen while your senses are suspended. C, vision of the mind. Vision of the mind. Write it. This is where the Holy Spirit, this is where the Holy Spirit paints a certain picture. Right. This is where the Holy Spirit paints a certain picture on the canvas of your mind. Write it. This is where the Holy Spirit paints a certain picture on the canvas of your mind to communicate a thought or pass a message. I said that again. This is where the Holy Spirit paints a certain picture on the... Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Have you done that? If you, if you look at me, you're disqualified. Close your eyes. Okay. 
Focus your mind. Are you doing that? See Papa. Are you seeing me? See me on a white suit. See me preaching. Are you seeing me? Huh? Are you seeing me? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open or don't sleep from there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see this thing I, I made you do? Huh? Holy Spirit does that as a way of communication. At times, he paints a picture on your mind, and once you pick it, that is a figurative expression of what he's trying to communicate. Put your hands together for the Lord. Isn't that powerful? For example, now you can see your mind going to America or owing that estate. Don't, don't bind the devil. It is not the village people. God is showing you what is, possi what is possible in grace. If you can imagine it, you can walk in it. So I hear you. Right. The next kind of vision, open vision. Open vision. This is where I function basically. Since God, I hear from God from three most basic operations. Number one, the greatest of them, as I look, as I'm looking at you now, I am seeing the realm. That's open vision. Since day one, I met Jesus. That gift has been operating. So that was separate me into the office of a prophet. When I look at you, I don't, I, I don't need to ask you a question. I will know if I'll be look. If you're lying to me, I will know. I can even see the, some dirty things you are doing. It's just that I'm matured now. I'm no longer a young prophet. When I was young, I used to say everything. Tell you when you had sex, who you had sex with, where you had it, to the hotel. But those things doesn't glorify God. Even when God shows you the sin of a sinner, is to bring you and there is a way you handle it so that you won't lose the purpose. So I've grown. I'm administering the gift with maturity. So I hear you. Ask my mama. There was a time when I was growing. Hey, you come, come. You have condom. Look at the name of the condom. My ushers will rush and search it, and the condom will be their life. That was how I began. That's when I enter with my hand, people will be running. So that man, where they, what, that man, when on, when on the mercy for people. I remember I went, I went to Newe about eight years ago. I was minister when your man was disturbing me. Disturbing me. The Lord said, Why don't you piatu your tally, flog and small? I said, That young man, if you do not stop, five minutes epilepsy will come on you and they will remove the condoms and the bow you have. He said, Get out. Immediately he lifted up to say, Get out. He slumped and started cooking. Quack, quack, quack. They rushed him and brought that Ibo and brought that go second condom. Now, the people that brought me, it's an association in Newe, people living in Lagos. They said, Prophet, don't kill him. I was just smiling. Some said, power. power. I was just smiling. I was in charge now, so I knew. I knew that God wanted to bring him to knowledge. Yeah. Even though this was five minutes, I said, young boy, be still. He, he, he ran out and ran. Put your hands together for the Lord. So, I didn't lose those dimensions. It's just that I, I say, it. When, I, when you talk with me, I look at your integrity. You'll be telling me, think you're deceiving me. You don't know you're talking to an oracle. I will just agree so that we won't prolong argument. So, basically, it is this unction. That was the time Mama said that she stopped hacking into her life. I said, you married the prophet. That is the implication. By the time she finished what she's trying to say, I will complete it for her. She gave me a serious warning, you know. So, <laughs> I know I'm your wife, but please stop hacking into my file. So, what gives me that ability is op some say open vision. Open vision. Let's define it. What is open vision? Vision is where you are not sleeping. Vision is where you are not sleeping. Get it? Vision is where you are not sleeping. Neither are your eyes closed. Vision is where you are not sleeping. Neither are your eyes closed. Are you what I'm saying? And yet you are seeing visions. Vision is where you are not sleeping, neither are your eyes closed. And yet you are seeing visions. Full stop. Second, it is seen in the spirit realm with an open eye. It is seen in the spirit realm with an what? Open eye. I, I wouldn't bore you with the details, but put down this scripture. Numbers 22, verses 22 and 23. Acts 9, verses 3 and 8. Can I hear you shout hallelujah? Can I hear you shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Praise the Lord. 
All right, the last, and I pray with us now. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Maybe in the school of the prophets, I can now expand on these things because some of these things has other streams. Has what? Talk to me. Some of it has other streams. Uh, maybe when I when I'm led to do my special master class on prophet ministry, which I'm praying for God to give me a release. Some of my sons that are here, I'll get you. Know, we'll go to one hotel, stay three days. And I'll teach you how to hear God at a 100% and 150% accuracy. These are the things I know. And I can activate it on you. So it's a prophecy. A prophecy is a divinely inspired utterance. A prophecy is a divinely inspired utterance. A prophecy is a divinely inspired utterance from the Lord through his prophets and ministry gifts. 4 Samuel 10, 1 to 7. We are saying through the office of a prophet or operation of gift of the prophets, somebody can be giving direction. Like you've seen me, don't go there, go there, don't go there. How many of you have seen me do that often? I, I mean, I do that. <laughs> I mean, almost every time I prophesy, I see myself giving somebody direction. You want to leave Abuja, don't leave. God is sending you, God is sending you, you know. So, it, it is practical ways through a matured prophet. Now, prophecy has two streams. How many streams? Talk to me. Prophecy has two streams. Did you get the scripture in 1 Samuel 10, 1 to 7? Okay. Uh, prophecy has two streams. Number one, word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. What is word of knowledge? Get it. This is a fragment of revelation from God's spirit concerning things that has happened or is happening now. This is a fragment of revelation from God's spirit concerning things that has happened or things that are happening now. First Samuel 9 verse 20. As for thy father's asses which we are lost, they are found. That is word of knowledge. John 4 verses 18 and 19. For thou hast had five husbands, including the one you are living as not your husband. And the woman says, sir, for I perceive you are a prophet. So that is a word of knowledge in oppression. Are you still with me? Can I take five more minutes from you? Two, word of wisdom. So God can direct you through word of knowledge. Maybe you are looking for something. This word of knowledge is basically used in deliverance, maybe recovering lost things. Uh, so God can talk to you about something and he doesn't talk about what is in the future, he talks about what is in the past or what is happening now two, word of wisdom this is the fragment of God's revelation for a person people or nation that must come to pass at the fullness of time this is the fragment of God's revelation for a person people or nation that must come to pass at the fullness of time. It is futuristic in nature. Totality of Matthew 24 is word of wisdom. If you go and study Matthew, the, the end time prophecies, the end time prophecies, those things that Jesus said will happen in Matthew 24, they are all word of wisdom. They are all what? Talk to me. They are all what? Then, Acts 2, 28 and 29, talking about prophet Agabus. Prophet Agabus who says, there is going to be a famine. And the church responded to that. And can I, let me read that one. Acts 11. And I end. What a, what a word. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Did I feed you well? Very loaded. These are, if I used to, if I should do conference in America, people should pay $1,000. Sit down. And hear me teach for two hours. I'm even rushing it. I can expand this thing as a book. Right, show me Acts, I think Acts 11, right? 28 and 24. Domina, are you in charge? Shoot. Let's do it. All right. And there stood up one of them named Agabus and signified by the Spirit that there should be. Word of, the, diff, the only difference between word of knowledge and word of wisdom is that word of knowledge talks about things that have happened or is happening. But word of wisdom talks about what we... Did you get that? And 
there stood up one of them named Agabus and signified by the Spirit that there should be great death throughout the world which came to pass. So because of that prophecy, let's see how the church responded to that word of wisdom. Verse 29. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwell in Judea. Rise to your feet.